Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. When it comes to stretching the shoulders to get more flexible, we need to think of it more like strength training. Would you A, rather focus on compound movements like the bench press or handstand pushups, or would you B, focus on isolation exercises and train each muscle group individually? The answer is obviously A, there is a time and a place for isolation style stretching, but what are those big compound ones that we can focus on? It's gonna revolve around hanging, but in two different ways. We've got one that's gonna bias flexion, and this is the Cobra, and we've got one that's gonna bias extension, and this is the German hang. Hanging is a pretty incredible drill by itself. In fact, there's a whole book on the topic as well as countless other videos. But for flexibility, we wanna turn that notch up to 11 with the Hanging Cobra and a few different variations and tweaks. I like to set this one up around sternum height, but you're gonna to wanna to adjust this based on the individual. Start higher with the feet closer and then lower until you get to the point which challenges your flexibility. This stretch couples the focus, which is shoulder flexion, with full body extension. It's gonna provide a stretch across the whole front side of the body, challenging the lats, the pecs, the abs, and much, much more. You'll get much more out of the stretch if you're able to breathe comfortably in this position. Think about inhaling and expanding the ribcage as much as possible, and then exhaling and letting your body sink deeper into it. But we can perform some contractions. You're gonna to want to think about trying to throw your hands behind you, doing this by engaging the traps, keeping the glutes solid, and then trying to extend the legs fully straight and press the feet down into the ground. This is gonna massively increase the intensity of the stretch. Hold it for five to 10 seconds, big exhale, and try to sink deeper. Lastly, we can take this up a notch by twisting into a unilateral side hanging cobra. This is gonna massively increase the intensity of the stretch throughout the entire lateral lines, so the entire side of the body. You're gonna to want to try and twist your hand into a supinated position. This is gonna stretch even further the lat, which is an internal rotator. You can hold with both hands, primarily focusing on one, using the other to assist, or go to that full one-handed hang. This is the first of these compound stretches. And one of the reasons that we favor compound lifts for strength training is that we learn how to distribute those requirements over a variety of joints and muscles. They learn how to move together. This applies exactly the same to flexibility. We don't move in isolated parts, we move as one. This all-in-one approach is taken by today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. It's never been easier to create a beautiful website with their Fluid Engine. Customize every design detail and page with their easy drag and drop technology. Create an online store and start selling your products, whether it's physical or digital. It's how I started my business eight years ago design custom merch or products and engage with your audience and grow your brands. You can go to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. And when you're ready to go live, you can use this link and get 10% off your first domain or website. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Let's flip this around and take a look at the German hang. This is gonna focus on shoulder extension and it's gonna provide a fantastic stretch again for the pecs, but also the biceps and the anterior shoulder. Setup for this is going to be relatively similar. I would recommend starting with the rings around sternum height, although this does demand some level of flexibility. So just adjust the height of the rings as to challenge your own. Going lower is gonna make this easier. It's quite common that people will feel this one in their elbows, and that's because they're trying to force the stretch rather than think about where the location of the stretch should be. We need to understand how to properly retract the shoulder blades and then also externally rotate them. To understand this, we can have the arms at 90 degrees. Think about turning the palms up and then trying to get the front of the shoulder to face the sky. We can then try to replicate this in a shoulder extension, but with the hands significantly wider. This is gonna demand less flexibility, and then we can bring the hands closer as we get more flexible. Like before, we can hold this one and simply think about breathing, or we can perform contractions. The first one you're gonna to want to think about trying to reach the hands backwards behind you, retracting the shoulder blades together. The second one we can think about trying to pull the hands down towards our waist, contracting the bicep and the pec ramping up the effort, and then relax deeper into this position. As we get more flexible, we can now introduce more load. Instead of just lunging forward, we can instead think now about squatting down, feeling the percentage of weight that is taken in the hands increase and in the feet decrease, eventually moving to a full hang position where the feet are completely off the ground and we're loading with our full body weight. The best thing about these more compound stretches is that they're effective at any level. 
because we can adjust them for beginner or advanced. And just like the bench press or the handstand push-ups, we're not going to perform it for a few weeks. We want to perform it for months, if not years. The more time we spend in these stretch positions, the better understanding to make those small adjustments and get the most out of it. This can improve your range in a wide variety of applications. As always, if you enjoy this one, you can hit that thumbs up button. I really hope it helps you out. The subscribe button is right next to it. And if you have anything else that you want me to cover, please let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, catch the next one. Have a strong week.